Season two, reload, everything that you need to know. Warzone overview, okay. Here's the research vessel. Board this thing. It's a new mobile POI that circles on the shoreline. There's a new kill streak. Oh, this is the bunker buster. Oh, shoot, it's coming. Oh, no, dude. Clear out the buildings of entrenched enemies. Uh, and then a new field upgrade, creating a safe zone within the gas. This is a bring back from Warzone 1. One of these days, we're going to have all of our features from Warzone 1. This does look like, like a cool POI, though. Research Vessel reports a pontoon-style watercraft off the coast of Fortune's Keep. Because this mobile POI stays on the move throughout the first two minutes of the match before dropping anchor in one of the few predetermined locations, keep your eye out for enemy operators who also are exploring the vessel. The ship features multiple levels as well as its own helipad and descenders, so danger can appear at any moment. Once you're on the research vessel, it usually is a great idea to commandeer the craft and utilize the equipment on board. You can access a decontamination station that works like the PDS, so you can protect the entire boat while you're outside of the zone with its own safety field if it goes outside of the zone, which might even just be interesting to drive it all the way outside of the zone to keep yourself safe, but it apparently will go away in zone four. Watch your enemies after activating the UAV tower that's on it. Purchase unique and exclusive items from the special buy station. Toot the vessel's horn to prove that your storm... Remember there was a Easter egg where you could toot the horn of the boat on Rebirth as well, and that would drop a special care package. And if you'd like more enemy interest in your current whereabouts, maybe it's just a way to tell everybody where you are. Pilot the helicopter or other chopper onto the helipad. Investigate the... Yeah, there's something there. Oh, no. Okay, here it is. The Bunker Buster. This is the new kill streak they're adding that goes through buildings and through floors for an explosion to get rats out and then leaves a gas cloud afterwards. Pinned down by enemy snipers, hold up in the building across the street. Instead of charging them head on and wishing for the best, pull out your binoculars and target the building with a Bunker Buster. Once this is activated, watch your enemies bite the dust as a missile drops down on the building, sending an explosive blast through multiple floors and leaves a column of gas in its wake and to my knowledge it's going to be like 10 seconds or so which is enough to burn a full regular mask is 10 seconds durable is 20 seconds but that also is going to hinder anybody who sits in it and takes away their mask for the end game which you're not going to want to do so theoretically it should force somebody out of the building but yeah you combo this exactly with an airstrike Bunker bust followed by an airstrike. They're forced out. Now they're dead no matter what. Maybe we'll have to see if this is enough to actually one-shot somebody inside the building, which I would imagine it is. Otherwise, there's not going to be a reason to leave if you can just stay inside and tank it. New field upgrade with PDS system. Maybe this is the solution as well to stop that gas burn. You throw the PDS down. Looks like a decent radius. Some cool features with this as well. You can actually use it to reactivate a buy station. So if you can get outside of the zone, there is a radius of about 20 meters where the buy station at the edge of zone will still work. It'll disappear from your attack map when it no longer works. But if you know where the location is and you go there with the, this PDS system, you can bring it back online, which we didn't have that in the previous one. You can also put it on vehicles and drive it around in the zone. However, I'm not sure how long it's actually going to last and if you're going to need multiple, multiple of them to make some of these plays. Looking for mobile gas protection, attach the PDS to your vehicle, clear the way. I think this is real, realistically the better way to do it. Throw it on a vehicle, drive through the gas, get your gear, whatever. Field upgrade can also be deployed in the water, which is interesting, and near buy stations to reactivate it. Yep, there you go. Two new weapons will be coming. Slice up the competition with the Soul Render melee weapon. This is the sword we've been waiting for. And dominate the mid-range with the battle rifle. New store offerings, Warhammer 40k, Godzilla x Kong. Oh boy, are they bringing back the King Kong one? New challenges, events, and mass awesome rewards through completing the new weekly challenges and events going live mid-season. I do like the uh, little events that they do with the rewards from it. From, some of the skins have been pretty nice. The Soul Render offers rapid slashing attacks, so maybe it's going to be more like the Tomfa. Via the aim button alongside its heavier primary attack. Hold the fire button to prepare a heavy slash and release it in time to down your foes with a devastating hit. What? Combo the two attack styles together for maximum damage. Well, maybe that'll be exciting then.